baptized by a street car. <laughs>
his dad's going to say. Yeah, that, that I believe. time and it won't be the last for sure.
How much for me to drink it? I got a fresh $20 bill in my pocket. Oh! What's it taste like? Water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is you owe him 20 bucks, big fella. Damn it, man. Did you actually drink it or did you? Yeah, I really did. It really, it, it really tasted like water. Yeah. It didn't look that bad. I actually am really thirsty. Alright. Exhaust valve. What's that? It was an exhaust valve. And an intake valve, I think. Now shipping, with every order over $100, you will get yourself your very own piece of Billy's Piston. We've got more than enough of these to go around. Don't be shy. Hop on www.streetracingchannel.com. Make your order. Every order over $100 gets a piece of Piston. Your gift from okay, your boy. Now you Max. actually have to do that. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're heading to McVeigh Automotive and Machine and he's going to look over my block. Bob thinks that uh, he can fix it, so we're going to take it up to him. And uh, it's going to have to have either a sleeve and cylinder number three or go 30 over on all the holes. I'm not opposed to doing that because I'm not happy with the pistons that are in it. The coating is coming off the skirts on the side and it's scoring up the cylinder walls. So, you know, I don't, I'm not crazy happy about those, those pistons that were in it. And I might even put some compression back in the thing to make it run without having to push it so much boost. Um, the easiest, quickest way is probably going to be to sleeve it. Just sleeve that one cylinder and put it back together with one new piston. But I don't know if that's... I'm, I'm not sure if I want to keep going with a quick fix here. Um, I might want to go ahead and make, it, make a change during this time. Uh, but then again, that's, that's going to put me out a couple extra weeks probably if I were to get all new pistons and have to get it rebalanced um, so we're just gonna see what what Bob says what what he thinks would be best and we'll go from there Why are you shaking your head? Man, did you tear stuff up so much or did you just pull in a Toyota? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> you know what's going on. It's the 
Huh? No, what's going on? Get that! <laughs> so did, did you have a dive bomb or a spring bomb? They broke the push rod. I haven't slept all night. <laughs> Look at the piston because I'm not really happy with the coating that's on the skirts because it keeps coming off and it's tearing up the other cylinder walls. It's only been together like three months and I've got like. Now, you drove this thing a decent amount on the street, didn't you? I mean, I, I'm looking at your videos. You know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. uh, I don't know how much editing you're doing on the videos. I drive it. I drove it a lot. Well, that's what I thought, too. I mean, you've got a decent amount of miles on it. It's, what, it's not like it's. Uh, no, it's not like it's just a race only. Right! Sounds like we might need to chill on the nighttime cruising and the. What's that? It sounds like we need to start chilling on the nighttime cruising and the roll racing. <laughs> well, I think it's cool. I mean, I think it ought to make your videos better. I mean, oh, video. Yeah. I mean, your. Well, it's like response. with this whole coronavirus thing. I can't race anywhere, so I've been driving it around. <laughs> well, I, I get it. I get it. He doesn't you know, want to I've drive always, that Toyota. I've always out there. been concerned on the. The, um, the roller style that you would have in versus, you know, like a race style. Yeah. How well that does on the street for a long period of time. Right. Now, and, and Making like five different pulls within the same like 30 minutes and just yeah. keeping it running the whole time. That's Yeah, I just, test. I just, I just was curious in my, hey, I'm going to ask Terry, my engine parts guy is supposed to be in. The guy you guys talked to out at mm -hmm. PR show. And I'm going to ask him how that type of camshaft works out on the street for, you know, decent amount of miles. Because to me, there's a reason why you have kind of have a hydraulic roller. Hydraulic roller, I get it. You don't have the maintenance of adjusting the valves and that stuff. Yeah. But how much wear do you have on a camshaft like what you're trying to do on the street that much? Yeah. That's probably a lot of my problem as far as breaking push rods and. But 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 when you said last time that you you broke a lifter, well, I I was concerned that truly that there was something, and I, we need to check the pressure on these head, on these springs, okay. that there was that this was bouncing. Yeah. You know, let's say let's say if we're losing a little pressure here and that's not returning well, maybe the lifter. Is literally bouncing on the camshaft. Yeah. You know, it's not keeping it down. Because I was, as I recall, these springs were the better of the other springs versus his. Yeah. But I think we shimmed them a little bit to get them a little stronger. Now, yeah. moving forward, I think you ought to put a set of springs in it. Okay. I agree. You know, so let's go back to, to a, to to get you know where we're at uh, on the top side of it, instead of trying to work from the bottom up. Yeah. on the spring and and just to you know make sure that we're not having an issue there and the other thing is 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 if we're going to drive this on the street i think i will take and put a little more looseness in this because i was trying i was concerned whether or not you know, we stuck a valve because if we stuck a valve would break a push rod but now there is a there is a on the old one there is a little bit of a scar. You see it? Uh huh. But you can't tell, confirm whether it's before or after. Does that make sense a little right. bit? But but see, we put new valves in this. Now and the other thing is 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 maybe. I want to take a little bit of the, like these things here and pop the spring off. Uh -huh. So then that allows a little more oil down in it.
I'll tell you what we might want to do is, uh, I don't know, those dents are so deep, they might not, get, I'm going to say maybe we put it in, we bore it out to 30 and see what it looks like, yeah. and if it doesn't clean up, and then That's go to the I other do. direction. I mean, you got to take it that far. To I got to take it that far anyway. anyways on the process of going to the sleeve. So then you look at it at 30 and see if there's it anything there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. Let's, let's play that game. I just didn't know. Like, how far do you have to take it out to get a sleeve in? Like, 60, 80? No, it's uh, 100 and 150 or something. Yeah, I just, I don't, if, if we don't have to, like, I don't want to risk cracking the block. Like, I don't think it will. No, I mean, Shit. this is, uh, this is a little limb, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's yeah, it's, 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 thick, it's thick, too. That coating sure didn't stay on much. No. Now, uh, is that was that a stocking piston? You have to buy. You have to buy two, or you can buy one, or. You can just buy one. Yeah. It's a J. Well, the other point is, 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 is it could start you on a backup. Right. Because if you was to take and buy a block. And then put those pistons in and you know build you. I mean, I mean, sometimes the kit's a better deal. But. Yeah, that was kind of one of the things we were thinking if we went 30 over and got all new pistons for this one. But I'm we'd really have concerned seven good about ones. that. I'm really concerned about that board being really nice. Yeah. I'll try and wash that thing and stick it in and see if I can bore it, get yeah. you an idea here for you tomorrow to make a decision.